Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you to a brand new series. This is going to be another Code Recollections, as you can see, everyone come out that long ago on the Switch. Um, I remember playing the DS version years ago, back when it first released, and I just played it over and over and over again. And then when I saw that they were going to release a remake of the two games, the DS one and the Wii one, in one collection, I was so excited. And especially because the company who made another code and Hotel Dusk and a couple of other things, they went bankrupt and all that, so I was very surprised to see this coming. So I'm looking forward to seeing this now. We're going to make this a series from the beginning. Options. Let's check out options first. Autoplay. Set by the messages advanced automatically. No, I want to read it. <laughs> navigation assist. Set whether or not to display navigation help. Uh, we'll leave it off for now. Puzzle hints. I'm going to leave off. They're going to be very different, the puzzles in this game, than they were on the DS. Because the DS used functions like closing the lid to do certain things or, you know, certain, certain gimmicks. So this is going to be different. Different volumes, um, all that sort of stuff. Language settings, text. Yeah, language settings, voice. That's good. So it has got a lot of text and I'm hoping... It's not too much voice acting. There might be a little bit, you never know. I don't get the impression this is a big budget game. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about the fact that hopefully there won't be too much voice acting. If there is, then there is. But yeah, going into this blind, this version, we'll see how it turns out. Let's go! On my way! <laughs> That's a hell of a loading screen, I like that. Thomas, why? Father? <sighs> Hurry, Ashley, hide. What do you hope to accomplish? Mommy? Okay, that's quite interesting. Are they gonna try and uh, combine the two the two games, the Wii one and the DS one? So now we are Ashley. We've made it to Blood Edward Island. Try to figure out what happened. Get to the mansion. Watch out! What? <gasps> No going back now. What should I do? <sighs> okay, that's interesting because in the first, in the DS version, she uh, she arrived by boat, and I'm assuming she did you as well, but it just didn't show it. Uh, navigation help indicates the destination and place the compass around Ashley that points toward it. You can turn navigate. I don't know if to have that on or not. It would be helpful rather than wandering around. God, let's chuck it on. Ugh, whatever. Puzzle hints off. I don't want to be told the puzzle. So it's a really relaxing game. And I like that in a game now and again. That's why I like JRPGs. They're normally quite relaxed and chilled. And I remember when I played Eternal Sonata for the first time and I loved it so much. Because that had the same vibe, that same sort of... Relaxed vibe. I don't like this navigation help thing. Let's turn that off. I don't like the arrow and circle around. Oh, Ashley. There we go. That's better. Can we run? Okay, so it's the right stick. It's all the typical sort of controls by the seams of it. Fall on rocks. The rocks block this too. Okay. So we can't do much about that. Mansion rear entrance. Yeah, okay, so... I was right, the path leads to the mansion. <laughs> Look at the little Ashley face. Cute. That's what that is. Is there any way to get past? 
like at the very start of the game. It don't turn very fast. There's a way of changing that. Camera speed. There it is. It's only on 20 odd. No wonder it's slow. And it is a slow game. You know, it is. Broken slam. But we're falling rocks. Well, <laughs> too late for that. Yeah. Must be a Vezzy 4, actually. It's going to be a Spaniard trying to push... <laughs> <laughs> Try to push rocks down on us. Oh, you can press R to run. I did not realise that. Anything around here that can get us past those rocks? It's still quite slow, the camera. Let's keep changing it until it... Ah, oh, horizontal and vertical. Okay, I didn't... I didn't notice there were two different ones. No, I, I don't like the 74 and 75. <laughs> yeah, it's much better. Much better. What do we do? We're trapped. Maybe I should put that navigation back on. <laughs> there must be another way out, does it? There must be. I can't see where else to go. Hold on, let's press A again. I remember. Enable autoplay. I don't want to autoplay. Let's check. Yeah, this. I'll come back now, what should I do? Yeah, so it's, it's just telling us to go this way. That's all the dialogue said before. Ah, there is another way around here. Yes! No fence there. But it should be quite a short game. It is two games in one, so... M maybe it won't be, but... Huh. Wonder where this river is flowing from? Hmm. Maybe we'll find mm. out. It's like a puzzle game as well, so you find items, so... you use them in certain places. If you if you like your survival horrors, can't run in certain areas. Good to know. Oh, this is the way to the mansion. Uh huh. <laughs> it is indeed. Okay, broken bridge. Hmm. Need to cross this bridge. You cannot pick up items. Search for anything you can use. Ah, okay, we couldn't pick them up before. That makes sense. We need to find some wood. Hello. I remember on the DS version, mm. you had to sort of use the stylus and move it about them, like a jigsaw puzzle and make the board. I'm sure you did. Got a long board? I'm also getting Legend of Dragoon vibes. <laughs> you know when you're in the forest near the beginning, mm. you have the axe and things like that. Yeah. Okay, so we can... Ooh, DAS instead of instead of TS. Yeah. Okay, it is a puzzle then. So can we we can rotate with R? Okay. Where do we put it down? Were they on the left? All right. Now I can get across. Yes, we can. It don't look quite safe. It's going over the edge a little bit, but it'll do the job. The graphics are amazing. I think they're going for like a a sort of oil painting sort of look. But it just looks this? a little bit blurry to me sometimes. Edward. The captain mentioned that name. What? Chapter 1, meet with thee. Is she being followed? <laughs> okay. Who is D? I was considering doing like a chapter every episode, but then I don't want it to go for too long. I'm going to try and make them really short episodes.
Dad. Hey! Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. So that's Blood Edward Island? Right you are, miss. That's our destination. Used to get more than two visitors at once. Not much call for a ferryman there now. <sighs> Your business is your own, of course. But I'm sure curious what calls you out here. The day before my 14th birthday started off pretty bad. On the boat, the waters were calm. But inside, I felt tossed in a storm. I was so excited, but also lost and angry. I've never felt so torn apart. Who could blame me? I mean, my dad. I always thought he was dead. But he's alive! Scenes are stunning, and the parts on this boat are really nice. The rocks didn't look too nice on the island, but I mean that's rocks. So <laughs> who really cares what they look like? Um, yeah, let's have a little walk, little walk around, shall we? Whoop! I didn't press that. Okay. Dad. Dad's on the island. He is indeed, and we'll be going it. We are they, sort of. Jessica, hey. Oh, good. You're awake. Come feel the breeze. It's nice. Yeah, nice. What's wrong? Feeling seasick? Nah, I'm alright. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Let me guess. You had the dream again? Yeah. I don't know why I keep having it. It always ends the same. And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Don't rack your brain too hard. You were so little back then. Besides, you'll see him in person soon. So cheer up. I guess. Jessica is Dad's little sister. She's all the family I have left. She's raised me since I was little. And on a high school chem teacher's salary. Don't get me wrong, she's been really nice. She always considers what's best for me and helps me out when I need it. Now, though, I don't know. Why did you never tell me Dad was alive? Why have you been lying to me all this time? That's... I mean... I promised your dad. Promised him what? It was 11 years ago. Richard showed up one day. Holding you. You just turned three. It was so sudden, I could tell something was wrong. He said, Look after her. I'll be back for her someday. But until you hear from me again, it's best if you tell her I'm dead. Why would he say that? He didn't tell me. I bet he wanted nothing to do with me after Mom died. No. It wasn't like that. Oh. My brother's a good man. Please trust that he had his reasons. 
He's not the kind of man who'd abandon his child if there was any other option. I remember the warmth in his eyes as he looked at you. <sighs> when I saw that, I knew I had to take care of you until he came back home. I'm so sorry, Ashley. I wanted to tell you sooner. I received a package a few days ago. It didn't say who it was from. But there were two things inside. A letter from Dad, who I thought died when I was three. And this strange device that looks like a game system. Now here I am, rereading the letter on a boat with my aunt, heading to Blood Edward Island, where my dad is supposed to be waiting. So, what was he like? My dad? Well, Richard is a brilliant neuroscientist. He was, is a neuroscientist? Like, he studied brains? Yeah, and I bet he made that device he sent you. Really? He made this? Okay, that's kind of amazing. What exactly did he study? His focus was on memory. Memory. Huh. He worked for a leading neuroscience research center. Talented scientists from all over the world came together there. He met a scientist from Japan, and they fell in love. Before long, they got married. You're talking about... Right. Sayoko. She was your mother. So, Dad sent me this. It says D-A-S. Das? What do you think that stands for? Dunno. What's his camera icon? Huh. Okay, D-A-S. <laughs> I was gonna t I was gonna take the piss saying like dad of the year kind of thing, but they do. Parents, they, they have their reasons for giving their kids up, you, you know, even temporarily or even not. It, there might be very good reasons for it, so... Anyway, you can take pictures using the DAS, XDAS camera or ZL. You can see your pictures in the DAS album. Alright, so I'm using the right stick to move it around. I'm assuming if I was using a Switch handheld, you could use the gyro controls, but who really knows? Let's take a photo of the captain instead. Oh, he's hiding. Never mind then. It works! <laughs> now how do I look at the picture I took? Not bad. Could you take one of me next? Sorry, but no. You're the only one who can use that thing. What? I had spent some time fiddling with it after it arrived. Seems like it's keyed to your genetic data using biometrics. What tricks? Biometric systems read a person's unique attributes. They can use those unique identifiers as a sort of key. Your DAS seems to have a system like that built in, meaning it won't work for anyone but you. Huh. So it'll only work for me. Can you tell me more about mom? Sayoko had a powerful mind, and an equally powerful will. She had beautiful eyes, too. And that's where you get yours. They look just like hers. That's not what I mean! I want to hear real stuff. Like, what? Just tell me the truth about her. Whatever it is, I can handle it, and I won't be mad. I just want to know about Mom. <sighs> I always thought Mom died along with Dad. Since it turns out Dad's alive, that means Mom is too, right? Is she on the island with him? Y you can tell me. Ashley, that's something you'll have to ask Richard about. 
He'll get all the answers you're looking for when you meet him. Great. Thanks. Sorry to interrupt, but we're almost there. I'm so excited to get going with this. I just saw a saved, so it must be an autosave system. Like in the top right corner I saw it. So let's have a little look a sec, see if it's a manual save as well. I hope you can. Look at the look at the um the resolution or you know the put away DAS is sort of clipping into the B button. That's not I don't know why that is. It's not to do with edit editing or anything, it's just Okay. Anyway. That's where we see our album, so we can have a look at Jessica. Auntie Jess. Okay, and that seems to be about all we can do with it for now. How do you save? I guess you can't save manually. So you can press X to investigate Night Dump. You can zoom in. Zoom out. You can use it. Can't be used here. Okay. <laughs> that seems to be about it. Okay. Oh, okay. First plus. Seems obvious now. <laughs> Let's save. Yeah. No, I don't want to load. Ah, okay. I like the, the text of the save. It is very teenager ish, like Ashley. Yeah, it's very nice. This game, I'm impressed with what I've seen so far. They've really upgraded it a huge amount. Huge amount. It's stunning. The water is stunning. The boat looks grimy like it should. Everything's really nice. Anyway, we'll end things here. Um, yeah, like I said before, this is a really slow sort of relaxing sort of game. And I hope you enjoy what's to come. So it's really nice and you just got to appreciate it for what it is. It's, it's not going to be action packed and all that sort of stuff. It's really, it's really just a nice game. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit.